Yeah, man. I mean, especially the feds was a 95, 98% conviction rate. Yeah. You yeah, know, you it's no joke. Them. You know, I just interviewed Irv Gotti uh, for the first time, and he beat a fed case, which is unheard of. They offered us where each one of us could do like six months, Chris could stay and run the company, then he goes in and does six months. Okay, so crack. six months. It Basi was bullshit. Basically nothing. Yeah. But yeah. you turn it down. To my lawyers, to which our lawyers said, we can't guarantee victory. So our lawyers, who we had great lawyers, Shargell and Leftcourt, if I don't want you to get in trouble, but if you do call them, they're, they're <laughs> fucking great, right? You don't want to use them, but if you do have to use them, they're brilliant. So our brilliant lawyers was like... Take it. They didn't say take it, but they was, they was like, wouldn't have been mad if we would have said, fuck it, we'll take it. Yeah, that's legendary. In trial. That's legendary. In trial, he beat a Fed case. Real shit. Like, you just don't see that. But he spent like $10 million <laughs> to beat it. So, <sighs> you know, and, and it kind of destroyed his company in the process. So, yeah. You, so, you that's all they wanted. No matter what. That's all they wanted. They succeeded. So, you got to be careful with them people. You know what I'm saying? You really got to be careful with them people. That's why, to be honest with you, I kind of talk freely about it and, and let people know what me and my friends is going on because. It's like harassment, what we, what we going through with the feds. So I let everybody know so they can't snatch niggas up and then niggas in jail crying harassment. Like, before this came, before they even snatched my niggas up, like, I was preaching this. I was, I was saying, I was speaking out against it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, luckily, you're not doing none of that shit no more. Oh, you're man, my, hand, my, hands is, my hands are so clean. Yeah. And, and this is what I always say, man, like, don't don't rap about illegal shit and do interviews about illegal shit if you're still doing illegal shit. Mm -hmm. You know, if yeah, it's but, all in the past. But you know what? You make it you so want. you make it so like, you know what I mean? They they can't help it. You know what I'm saying? You got the platform. You got a dope platform out, and it got a lot of views. And man, people, man, my brothers can't. A lot of my brothers can't handle that. You feel what I'm saying? And and that started with them though. You know what I mean? But a lot of them can't handle that, and. It's almost, it's almost, it's almost sad that you know what I mean, because it's the same thing that they love, is almost like being, you know what I mean. But let me ask you this, okay? Let me ask you this question right here. Let me ask you uh -huh. this. Now, if you got the platform and you know that, you know what I'm saying, like, what make you ask those questions like that? Uh, anyone who I talk to, I talk about past shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't interview people knowing they're still doing whatever whatever illegal shit in their present life. Right, right. You know, as I'm talking to them. We don't have those types of relationships. Right, right, and, right. And in fact, we, we've even, you know, it, you, you'll see certain interviews where it's like, oh, you have an open case? Let's not talk about it. Next question. Okay, right, right. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, when I interviewed the baby, he still had an open case, you know, when he uh, killed that one dude in self-defense at Walmart. So I said, hey, we're just not going to talk about it. Now, I know everyone's going to, want me to ask about the Walmart situation, but we actually looked into it mm. and we saw that it's still an open case. Right, right, right. So therefore, I'm not gonna ask any questions about it whatsoever. That's cool. Let, let's go forward with it. And ultimately he got that case dropped. Right, right, right. Uh, but yeah, I, I respect it, man. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to put anyone's, you know, I'm, we've even turned down interviews with certain people who have open cases. Right, that like, makes sense. You, you're gonna end up talking about this and we don't wanna, potentially hurt whatever legal situation you have. Right, right. That makes sense.